but you have been living for years in Jordan and you have colleagues there on the field. Do you hear from them? Uh, the situation is very, very difficult. We are seeing a massive displacement of people in an unprecedented manner. We have to think that there are now over 600,000 people sheltering in our schools and other facilities. We were prepared to host no more than 150,000 people, and now we are at 600,000. Of course, displacement is larger than that. There are over 1 million people displaced in the Gaza Strip, both north and south. Under which conditions people live right now in uh, Gaza Strip? Extreme conditions, not just because they are lacking the basic food and water and hygienic conditions, but also because they are very afraid. So you, you see our shelters filled with uh, women, children, elderly people, men, all very, very scared. They came with nothing, literally nothing, because they had no time. Just to give you an idea, uh, the average uh, in, uh, liters of water per person is three liters for absolutely everything, cooking, drinking, and hygiene. We have some shelters in which people do not have more than one liter of water per day, way below international standards. They only have one meal per day, and the meal is usually a piece of bread. And are there any safety guarantees for your colleagues operating there? Where do they live now and under which conditions? Very difficult conditions. Before the crisis started, we had 13,000 employees. We are by far the largest humanitarian actor in the Gaza Strip. We are talking about teachers, doctors, nurses, psychologists, just name it. Where are they now? Many of them displaced. Many of them are still working. Over 5,000 of our employees are still working relentlessly. And I want to take this opportunity to acknowledge their heroic work in these circumstances. I heard a colleague of yours doing an appeal for a humanitarian ceasefire. Uh, what would that mean? And do you think that this could be possible right now? We, we must make it possible because as a humanitarian agency, we will not be able to deliver aid if we are not able to move safely in the Gaza Strip. Uh, it is very difficult for people to take the right decision. What is the right decision? To stay, to go. Many people cannot uh, leave for very different circumstances. Uh, we are talking about elderly people, pregnant women, sick people, those that are in the hospital. You have people in coma, you have people uh, that need to do dialysis, that are connected to machines, they can't move. 